guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the lasagna bin. Last time they were doing some strange things. Um, wasn't really sure if they were trying to avoid the food or if uh, what was going on there. So we're going to take a look in here today, and uh, if we're still seeing the same sort of weird behavior, then I think I'm going to go some, do something a little differently. Oh, look at little pill bugs everywhere. They are so adorable. All right, so it looks like they're they're doing good with that first layer. And as we're peeling it back here, seeing a good amount of worms across. Just I think it's, you know, cute that they they get in the middle there. And <laughs> Look, they're all lined up like they're on the freeway. On the freeway. Okay, still looking for the last feeding here, which was apple goo, and we skipped last time because there was quite a bit of apple goo left. Now, I'm not really seeing much in the way of apple goo here. Now, I'm seeing a few, like maybe pits or something. Yeah, like an apple core. It seems like whatever avoidance they were doing previously is not happening now. So let's pull this back. Now we're getting down to the food that was before the apple goo where we actually had I don't I don't even know what that is. Kiwi? I don't it's, gets that far gone it's hard to tell. But it's very, very wet under here. Seeing a, a good amount of springtails. No shortage of avocado bits, melon bits. That Amazon tape does dissolve, it just takes a little bit of time. So yeah, they've certainly seem to be making themselves at home down here. Completely dissolve those bottom layers. So let's kind of fold that back, pull it back this way, and kind of see what the other side is doing. Make sure we're not missing anything side by side. <laughs> I just think that's adorable. I don't know why. Dead isopod? Weird. So yeah, they are totally got everything. They've, they've, the only thing they've left are the, the apple seeds. And even then it looks like they're getting inside of those. First when I saw those I was like, oh god, beetles. Um, but that's not what's happening there. Seems like I've got a fair amount of European nightcrawlers in here. I don't know what the difference is. You can tell they're making nice castings just from cardboard. All right, this is getting super wet, and I really don't want to encourage that. Um, we are getting into winter, so it would probably be okay. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give them their next layer of paper. But I, I'm not going to give them, I don't know, what do you think? Let's, let's put some uh, worm chow on here and then just put another layer on top. And that way uh, the food won't add anything to the moisture of the bin. They can have a little bit of time to sop it up. So maybe we can think of this as like a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the lasagna. Get 
them some new damp Amazon boxes. And let me go get this wet. I'm going to give them an egg crate. Yeah, I just dipped that in some water and it immediately just came undone. I was not expecting that. All right, I will just kind of <laughs> smoosh that on the edge there. Um, so a little bit of a different uh, thing for the uh, lasagna bin. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring the bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.